It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'll teach seven, five, five. Uh -huh. is up. The wait is wait, over. Wait, Let's go. Wait. Just kidding. Are you ready? I'm ready. The just Let's kidding go. kids are the best kids, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Are you ready? What up, what up, what up, what up? Get ready, get ready, get ready. It's time to put you to on the telly. 12 High Noon Saturday, baby. Yeah, sissy. Don't run with your cup, won't net it. Get around the slice right on your belly. Yeah, <laughs> don't do it. Okay, what up, everybody? Thank you and welcome to Small Business Saturday. Yeah, buy some art. <laughs> okay, we got it for you. Here's some t-shirts. Get some aprons for your kids. Come on now. Small Business Saturday is in full effect. And I am a business owner. Oh, we talk about 755 Media LLC, baby. Okay, let's get into it. Family, friends, and children of all ages, gather around. Because today, we paint the emoji. Yeah, the cowboy emoji in particular. Yeah, dedicated to my good friend, Troy Brand Games. Okay, yeah, he comes in sometimes and... Says hello to the kids, but always goes over to Just Kidding channel and thumbs the kids up. You know what I mean? Yeah, he says howdy by throwing a thumbs up over there, and you can too. All you got to do is hit that link I posted at the top of the chat, honey. Hit that link and go over and thumbs up them kids because the kids love to see the thumbs up emojis, okay? But we more than that, we love to see the thumbs up on the channel. So go support the kids today. Small business, Just Kidding, Okay. Yeah, get your order yourself one of those kid boxes for a kid that you might love, okay? Who would you think might love to paint or draw? You never know unless you try, right? Because they're not going to mention it to you. You just have to observe. And when you see that pen come out of that pencil or those crayons or those markers or that watercolor or whatever they're doing over there, you know it's time to order yourself a Just Kidding Boxes Worry-Free Baby. Get it. You get canvases that's already pre-drawn. You get some that's blank so they can just do a freestyle or whatever they want to do. You're going to get paint. You're going to get an easel provided by no other than our Just Kidding Auntie, Sonia Sigley, okay? Yeah, Sonia Sigley. And then also you'll get a Just Kidding Welcome Pack that has all type of stuff in there from, you name it, it's going to be in there. And I'm telling you, 
You even gonna get a cup so you can put just a little bit of that water in there. So you won't slice it on your butt. Yeah, so we got it for you. You also can get you some t just kidding t-shirts and just kidding aprons, just kidding glue in the dark keychains, and provided by our girl, make it with Maryland. You can even get you one of these cool there you go. Just kidding art palettes for the kids. Okay. So we got you over here with just kidding. Um, I appreciate everybody who supports this channel. It means a lot to me because, um, like I've said before, and I'm not going to talk too much on this, into this, but I didn't even know I was an artist since I was coming up. I just thought that, you know, everybody could draw and people were just being lazy by asking me to do it, you know, and I felt like, you know, you can do it too. But later on, I, as I developed as a person, I discovered one of my teachers said, yeah, you're going to, you're a great artist. And I'm like, artist? Hey, I'm an artist. Yeah. And so, yeah, you can be one too. All you got to do is tune in to Just Kidding every Saturday, 12 high noon. And I will teach you the ins and outs. Now, I don't know everything. But what I do know, I'm willing to share with you and yours. Okay. So, with that being said, tonight we're having on the 755 Media Adult Channel, we're doing an art um Art and chill session. It's called art and chill. But you can come up and paint with us. But for right now, we're gonna do paint uh painting Tory brain game um emoji. Okay, so in the cowboy emoji is in the chat. You guys, all you gotta do is hit that boy one time in the chat to let me know that y'all ready to see this art go down. Okay, I hope that all made sense to you. I don't know if it made sense to me, but I just want to say hello to all the people. All the paint slangers, the adult paint slangers is in the house. We starting with accessory. Hey, she said, just kidding. Vivian Cross, that's my two hug. Come here, girl. Come on, I'll play. Yeah, quick hug for you. Yeah, she said, happy holidays, everyone. Thank you so much. Reza was in the building earlier, too. He said, good day, y'all. What up, Reza? How you doing? All the way from Canada, honey. Showing love. Shell maker. What's going on, Shell? How you being, sweetie pie? She said, good afternoon, 755 Sissy and the chat. And the chat, that includes the Just Kidding family, of course. Deborah says, hello. Hello, Deb. That's my phone. Honey. Come here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the practicing jeweler. <laughs> She's the bomb, all right? Night Boss says, welcome in, everybody. Make sure y'all hit the thumbs up and like and share the stream. And also, go over to the Just Kidding. I got it linked up top. Hit that thumbs up for the kids and show some love over there, okay? And um, also, we also have Make It With Mel. Hey, Make It With Mel. I'm just talking about you. It's just right here. Thank you so much for creating these for us. And accessory blended out with some baby booty rhinestones, of course. So, yeah, thank you so much, Make It With Mel. Um, uh, let me see who else is in here. I, I, I mentioned Sonya, but here she is, honey. Saying, what's up? Yeah, just getting says, what's up to you? And Mother of Twins. Mother of Twins, honey. <clears throat> Yes, how you doing, sweetie pie? She's got those kids over there. I know they paint. I know they paint. I know they over there doing the thing. Cause let's go, family. Okay, but files. They like to craft and art, so we know but files is doing some stuff over there today as well. Hello, but files. Good to see you. I appreciate you. And no other than late night crafting with Stacy. Her daughter Twinkles is an artist herself, so we appreciate. Twinkles coming in this afternoon as well. It's late night crafting with Stacy. Thank you so much. We're doing fine over here. We're doing fine. Um, uh, Deborah says, hey, hi, sissy. I have mine on for the weekend. I'm not sure what she's speaking about, but you know, I'm sure. You skipped over my comment. Oh, I, did I skip your comment? Oh, no, oh, she said, oh, we're getting us uh, Auntie Cuddles, also known as Accessory, says, hello, everyone. Who still has on eating pants? Who has them on? The little stretchy outfit at the bottom so you can eat more food. Yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed their uh, thankful gathering with their family and friends. Look who's in the building. Resilient dad, honey. Okay. He's resilient. And he's a dad. So that means he has kids. And then he has kids. And they're doing just kidding. I know they are. Because he's a great, great supporter of this channel. And I thank you so much for being a great supporter as well as coming in this afternoon. So everybody make sure that you come in and hit that like button for here. And it's a double duty today. And go over to the um, Just Kidding channel. So let's show you the art for the day. Let's show you art. Ugh, I use a lot of tape on the back. I'm so sorry, you guys. Boom, here it is. It's an emoji, you guys. And of course, it's going to have a paint palette because 
We're just kidding. And we don't play around. We put paint on everybody. So this is the emoji that we use when we go over to a Tory Brain Game. Okay. And um, so we visit him often. He's a really fun guy. He has a great channel. Um, it's an adult channel now, kids. I'm so sorry, but it is. However, he's a great guy. And I just love the cowboyness of him. He puts that cowboy hat on and he just go in there and do his thing. Okay. So we play all kind of games over there. And it's a it's a great time. So if you guys go over there and you guys are a family member of Tory's Brain Gang, find that cowboy emoji and put it up in the chat and let us know that you support Tory's Brain Gang. What's up, Tamika Davis? How you doing, sweetie pie? Thank you so much. Thanks. That's my girl right there. We call her the goat, honey. The YouTube goat, because she be everywhere. All right, so y'all, let's go. Without further ado, we're going to go on over here to the easel and check it out. But before we do, Let's check on Mimi. Yeah. Here we go. We're about to get this thing, this party started. How about that, you guys? All right, so I wanted to say, if you guys have not went over to my community tab over on 755 Media Side, I don't have a community tab on the Just Kidding. They would not allow it, okay? So I had to post it up on my um, um, 755 Media Side, and that's Monk Monks, okay? Monkey Monks has posted up two paintings, and I'm sure she will post up one today as well. And if you guys want to come up here and paint with me, let me put this link up here because I know, I know, somebody might want to come up and paint. Now, if you're a child, honey, under 18, you need your adults, um, uh, you need an adult with you just to say hello and let me know that it's okay that you come up here and paint with us today, okay? And so uh, that's all for safety purposes only, all right? So I just want to let you know that you can come through here and paint alongside of me. And if you have any troubles, I can help you. Now, a lot of you guys probably say like an emoji. What is that? Um, That is so kitty-like. No, it's not. So we can make it anything that may seem, uh, seem I'm a kitty-like. Hey, Lena Wood, what's going on, honey? Thank you so much. She said she hit that thumbs up. There you go. That's my girl. Come on, Wood. All right, so, yeah, we could turn it into anything. You know what I mean? You can make it as elaborate as you want to because you are the artist. You have the paintbrush in your hand, and you can do whatever you like to do, okay? So I'm going to start with a little bit of red. Where's me red? There it is. And I have some yellow already. I just placed on my pattern. Don't worry about what's going on down here, y'all. I'm working on a um, a portrait for a client. And so I do have something I was working before I came on live. So don't worry about that. We're going to get back into that paint in a minute. But for right now, let's get this going. So we need a, we're going to use some red on the tongue. And we want a little bit of red to turn our yellow a golden orangey color, okay? This part here is pretty much pure yellow we can go with. And then outside here, in order to get that face to turn, they don't want it to look so flat. So even it, uh, so even the emoji is a little flat. 
I'm trying to squeeze just a little bit, y'all. But watch, every time I try to squeeze a little bit, a lot come out. Let's <gasps> oh no, it's drumming the studio, even. No, no, uh, uh, I'm not gonna pat it. All you gotta do is squeeze your tube when you go overboard like that. Squeeze your tube, then you see that hole. Now I made a hole, right? Take your brush, put that paint up at the top. Now let the squeeze go. Squeeze it again. Put the paint in. Let the squeeze go. See how I got it back in there? Okay? And I can do it all if I wanted to. I can go around with my brush and gather it all up. Squeeze the tube. Put the paint in the top. And let it go. And it'll go down in there. See? All right. So, don't worry when that happens. Make sure squeeze your tube. Let it go into the hole forms. Put the paint inside like this. All right. Just feed it in like you would feed it like a little baby. All right. Put that in there. Just push it on down in that hole. Put it back in. Go around with your brush all on the sides. So that was a big clump of paint, you guys, right? And now it's pretty much all back in the tube. And that's how you do it, okay? It took me a... I had to figure that out on my own. I ain't going to even lie. So now you take yourself a towel. Okay, my towels are always full of paint and stuff because I'm an artist like you. I just wipe around it, get it nice and clean, twirl it around, get all that paint out the crevices like so, and then booyah la la, loo 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 loo, woo, we rolling, we looking good, right? Okay, so now let's try it again. We want a little bit of paint, a little bit of red. Oh, no, 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 squeeze too much. All right, so you're just going to get it and like that, okay? We can pop it right on our canvas, just like that, okay? All right, so since we had so much talk about the red, let's put the top back on this sucker, honey, and put it back in the storage container. So I got brush, I got red paint on my brush. Let's get into the red part. So... I just started. Uh, my canvas is already primed and ready to go. And by the way, you guys, I'm working on a flat board canvas. It's not the regular ones I work with that has the sides and everything, but it's a flat board. This is by Master Touch. It's a 10 by 10 canvas panel, okay? And so, yeah, you can get these any art store you want. And um, I think I got this one. Oh, this Master Touch. Yes, Master Touch. I am using Master Touch paints today, and I'm using this Master Touch board. So, uh, hello, Master Touch. Hello. Uh, you can sponsor our children. They would love that on Saturdays at 12 high noon. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we want. We want Master Touch to come over here and check us out. All right, so, boom, there we go. We're using our master touch paint. We put a big smile on, <clears throat> on Tori brain game emoji. All right. So now I'm all done with this, but I still have some red on my brush. Don't rinse. Do not rinse. J3GS in the farm is in the building. What's going on, Jags? Thank you so much for coming in this afternoon. We appreciate you. I hope I haven't missed anybody. Hmm, what's that? Do you sell the stencil prints for your job? I do not. Um, no, I do not. But if you would like something like that, all you have to do is hit me up in my email address, honey, 755 mediaart at gmail.com. And we can discuss because, honey, this is Small Business Saturday, and I am down for whatever going to make my small business grow, right? Do you guys agree? A lot of you all have small businesses. So I just want to say happy Small Business Saturday to you guys. So you don't want to keep going over something you painted like I just did because it has swiped the paint right off, right? So now I'm going to take what I have left in here, and I'm going to go over here now because I want to make an orange. Yellow and red make what? Orange. So let's get into some of it, not all of it, just half of it. And, and I'm going to just mix on here with my brush. Now, because I have that paint on my brush the way I did, it is all it's really um you're really not supposed to mix with your brush because you get paint all in the ferrule of your brush. I'm talking down in here, but as you can see, my paint is higher up, so I'm doing pretty good, except for that red that I got down there. So we, we're gonna get all that out. But uh, so let's get into it. So we got ourselves 
let's go in close up a, a nice dark orange okay so we're gonna we're gonna stick with this dark orange for a minute and we're gonna go all around the sides because when you put a shadow okay when you cast a shadow on the outside of something like this a face any face even a lion and you put a darker color on the outside of it. What you do there, what you do is you're giving it a highlight, well, a shadow. And you're going to have a highlight, and you're going to have a um, uh, uh, a mid-tone, okay? A mid-tone. So we we just want to get, oops, I went a little farther. Well, he's going to be a little lopsided on here. And Toy Brain Games is a lopsided head person, so we don't care. We don't care. And, um... I want to say, I have to mention that I did do this, um, and when you say stencils, I'm not sure what you mean. Like, like you want to you want to draw, I mean, you want to paint what we're painting, I mean, you want the drawing. Is that what you said? And I'm getting to my yellow, you guys, and I'm just going to add it. And I still have this weird color on my brush, so I just want to work it in because this is a little too dark. So, so do you mean like... Um, Said so we would definitely use these like a paint by number and then follow along with their replace. Oh, I see what you said. Okay, so it, with it, that's what you mean. Uh, I don't sell them, I give them. Okay, I give them, and you I always tell you if you want to paint along with me, <clears throat> all you have to do is um hit me in the same email just I gave already, and I will provide you with the reference photo and a drawing that you can print out at home. Now, with the drawing and the reference photo, if you want to put it on canvas, what you can do is hold that, put the picture behind the canvas, hold it up to the light, like a window or a, a, any type of lamp or something that you may have, and then you can see through it, and then you can trace this onto it. Now, I didn't do it with this. I actually drew it on here because it's a board, and you can't see through the board, okay? You can't see through this. But a regular canvas, you can see through, and that's how you get it transferred to that. But um, um, yeah, what I'm saying is you get it every week. All you have to do is request it. Or we can get on our what we're soon to make a mailing list. I already talked to my sister about a mailing list where every week that if you're on there, um, you will be getting the drawing automatically. Now, whether you do it or not, that's gonna be completely up to you. If you choose to do it or not. So I'm just going in with the really bright yellow in the middle. Huh? And if they do still want you to draw it out, we can talk about it. Yeah. And if you do want us to me to draw it out on canvases for you, we can talk about that. Now you don't have to get the whole art kit if you don't want to. I think that I'm gonna start breaking it down because the art kits, if you already have a canvas, you already have paint, and you just want the drawings uh on canvas ahead of time, we can do it. You know what I mean? Um, listen. I am open to any and all suggestions that will help these kids grow. All right. And and if doing whatever means doing whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm down for it. All right. So thank you so much for your question. I hope I answered it. If not, we can um, further discuss it more in the live stream. So I want to tell you guys that um, I'm just using this yellow. I put the really bright yellow in the, in the center. Okay, so now I'm just adding it all to the sides to try to bring back that, bring down that orangey dark color that I put in there. Not so much as taking it away, but just adding on to it. So I do want to say that um, I used a set of graphite pencils that um, Sonia Siegler so graciously supplied to me so I could do more art with you guys. And what I'm noticing about the graphite pencil now, it's been a long time since I used them, right? But what I'm noticing about them is that um, the pencil is dragging into the paint and making dark marks. So I'm going to advise you guys, whenever I see something or uh, I have some information, I'm going to pass it on to you. Um, do not use the graphite pencil when you are painting, um, when you're... Um, Painting on canvas because it's going to leave dark streaks in your paint. So don't do that, you guys. So I just learned that myself. And um, and so we're going to find other uses for graphite pencil. Uh, 
but this ain't it, okay? But there's plenty of things you can use it for, so I don't fret, all right? All right, so I'm not liking how I got this line going right here, and I really want to make that a little bit more yellowy, and so I'm just going to get more yellow and mix it in with this orange and try to try to blend this thing, okay? So I'm just going to try to blend it down. Oh, there's some trash in my paint. Yikes. All right, so we're just going to roll around the sides of this thing. And this definitely going to need two coats of paint because yellow is, uh, even though it may say it's opaque on your, on your, uh, on your tube, yellow is not opaque, honey. It's very transparent. You can see through it. And not only that, it's because I'm having trouble with the graphite. So I'm fighting two things here, but it's going to be okay. We're going to work it all out. All right. So let, <clears throat> let's get into some brown. Our Tory brain emoji has a brown hat, <clears throat> brown eyes, and inside his mouth is dark brown and it's a lighter brown. Now, I've told you guys how to make brown before. Let's do it again. All right. So now we're going to get a little bit of blue. Let's get yourself some regular smegler blue. Nothing too much. Nothing too crazy. Okay. Regular smegler blue. Okay. So we're going to use this one. All right. Because I don't feel like digging no more. Just put a little tiny bit down. Y'all, a little bit going to go a long way in this thing. Okay. 13 people in the building. Y'all hit that thumbs up for the kids. Hit it for the kids, okay? All right, so I already got some orange and yellow mixed up. Let's get a little tip of blue. I'm talking about a little tiny, tiny. I see how tiny that is. Let's get it. Put it in there. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. And it's turning like a gold. Maybe add a little bit more yellow. All right, all right. And then we're going to put a little bit more of this blue in there. Turn it some more. Turn it some more. Yeah, yeah. We're turning it. We're going to put a little bit more red in there. Add a little bit of yellow in there. Just keep mixing, y'all. Mix it up. Mix it up till you can't mix it no more. Right. And so what we're looking for is a brown tone. All right. So I think we about got it. Even though I got it so spread thin. I'm trying to pick it up. All right. So we got a little bit of brown. Let's go. Let's try it on eyes and see. Woo. Yeah. Let's get into it. Yeah. So, just come around. I want you guys to fill the eyes in with the brown you just made. All right, because every set doesn't have a brown in it. You might, and you might not. All right, so just get those brown in the eyes. Just like that, right? Got to stay in the lines now. You don't want them to have squiggly eyes. All right, so we got the brown going. Oh, wow. Well, it's not really dark, is it? That means we need to add more blue. All right. In fact, we're going to add some more everything. Let's put some red up here. Let's go ahead and make it. Let me make a true brown for you guys. All right, so let's still make it in the same area. We'll add some more yellow. A lot more yellow. Come on. Y'all know I like to work my paints out to the bottom of the tube. Don't play with me. I'm going to squeeze every bit of it out. I'm not going to leave nothing behind. Okay? So let's put that in there. Then we got some red. Let's get some more red. Just a little bit more. That's quick. Let's try red. Here we go. Oh, remember what happened last time. Let's make sure we don't have that again. All right. Let's take our time and open it. Let's we'll squeeze some more red out here. There we go. That's a nice amount of red. I think that'll do it. All right. Now, if you guys have palette knives at home, that would be a great time to pull one out to mix your paints, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take just a part of the red, part of it, put it in there, put that yellow in there, and mix it. And we want to get a nice orange. Okay, that's a pretty orange. All right, so we got that going. Now get that blue and bring it in there. Like so. All right, it's turning dark now. This orange is turning really dark. All right, so we got that going. All right, so I want a little bit more blue in there. <clears throat> so let's mix it. Put some more blue in there. Like so. Now this particular blue's got like a lot of green to it, but it's okay. All right, so we're going to get that blue and put it in there. And we're going to just mix 
Mix it up. Mix it up. So what we're looking for is a dark brown, you guys. So you're mixing your paint. Just keep watching. Okay? Mix it up. Drag it. Put it down. Same thing. Just keep doing it. Right. So now, let's scoop it all up. Okay. Scoop it in now, like so. And lay it in. Now we got a brown. Y'all see the brown? What up, Shin Cheek Music in the building? Hashtag AKA Pikes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab some straight off my palette knife like that. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do this cowboy head. I'm going to do the cowboy hat because it's a lot of paint on my brush. And this is a large area to do. Right? So we're going to do it with this. And we're going to take our time. And this is the part of the hat that is um, darker. It's on the side. It's uh, the ending. I don't know what they call it when the hat is indented like this. When they squeeze that cowboy hat. But that's what this is. So come on over here. I'm going to lay that in there too. And I'm just going to go around this little darker part of the hat like so. Uh-huh. So shout out to everybody who thought we was going to be finished with this in 10 minutes. No. We got other stuff to learn, too. We got to make some paint. You know, we got stuff to do up in here. Because we're paint slangers. Just like J3GS is farms and stuff. Honey slanger. We're the paint slangers, okay? Let's get into it. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so now. Let's come on around here to the eyes again and throw a second coat on the eyes. They should be ready. You know, you have to really wait until the eyes dry a little bit. So we're going to wait. But you can see the difference between this eye and this eye already with a second coat. And why is he dribbling out his mouth down here on the bottom of this arc? That purify him. Okay, purify Tori. All right, so now let's go on around the top of this half because I didn't do a good job. So I'm going to go around the top, covering the graphite. All right, and now I'm going to do this part of the head. Let's get into it. So we made our own brown, you guys. And I'm so proud of you for mixing your paint today. You are awesome. And I told you, you can do it. You guys can do anything. I know you can. As long as you put your mind to it, you can do whatever you want. And I, I believe it. I just believe it. If you say, I want to be the most famous artist in the world, I believe that you can do it. All you have to do is apply yourself. And opportunity and preparation meets together. That equals success, honey. So, yeah, you go ahead and do what you got to do. And Auntie Carmen and Auntie Cuddles will be here rooting you on, okay? That goes for all my pink slides. All right, so... um. Take your time. I'm using at this point a, a angle brush. You guys know I love angle brushes because they really get the edges really good. So I love angle brushes. So that's what I'm using right now. A lot of you guys might not have an angle brush. So you use whatever brush makes you comfortable, whatever makes you happy, okay? And if you can get an angle brush, uh, get one. Instead of asking for that um, those fruit roll-ups this week, Maybe you should ask for an angle brush. I'm sure your parents will be very impressed. It's one that you asked for. It. And I'm sure that they would be super happy to get it for you because they know you are doing what you love, and that's painting. And if you love painting, you should do it and do it more often and have the tools to do it correctly. So ask for an angle brush, you guys. Everybody needs one, okay? Let me check because somebody might have tried to come up here. Uh, nah, nobody wants to paint with me, but that's okay. Uh, we don't care. Yeah, we don't care. All right, so we're going to let this dry, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to go ahead and do a second coat on it because we want to. Meanwhile, let's take a look at this. This is a lighter color right here on the outer rim of the hat. It's a very lighter color. Let's see what we can do if we just add more yellow to our brown and see what we come up with. We just really just add all this yellow to it. Will we get a lighter brown? Whoa, I think we did. 
So let's go. To, uh, I don't know. I thought something was on my brush. All right, so we added some yellow to it, and we're going to bring it around. Now, it's not a highlight that's really big, so that's why I didn't get for the white. And if you guys are using a brush that's oversized and you need to go down a brush, go on down a brush like I should be doing. But I ain't. I, I'm, the, I'm the owner of this painting over here. Y'all worry about y'all own painting, okay? So, I want to wet my brush a little bit, though, because when it dries up like that, I'm just wetting it. I'm not rinsing. I'm just wetting it, and I'm tapping it off, because when it dries up like that, it makes the paint harder to go smooth. I want it to go smooth, all right? So, boom. Come back over here again, and I'm just going to do the outline of the hat right here with this yellowish brown, and some come around the sides. Booyah! And I want to do this middle, too. It's just a lighter color. It's just a little bit lighter. Not a lot. Just a little bit. So we're going to make that a golden. So, yeah, we got he got this leather cowboy hat on. So we know his head is hot. Okay. His brain probably boiling. Tori's brain gang. Yeah. All right. So we're going to come around with this yellowish brown. All right. But we want to separate this part of the hat from that part. So we'll get it back into our darker brown. And we'll just come through here with it right on the top and separate that okay and so yeah it'll look good it'll look good now blend it in blend it in you just want that little line up there okay all right so now we can add this little stuff here we can go back over this brown right here with the paint i mean with the darker brown because it's about dry now so we're gonna hit it up boom hit it up one time one time all right, so we're going to get into this thing right here. Shout out to Shady Teak Music. Thank you so much, sis, for the information you provided me earlier. Because she the one told me about the um, uh, small business uh, Saturday. So I was thankful for that information because I didn't have a clue. So it's not my idea. I have to give the props where the props is due. And to that's to my girl, Shady Teak Music, hashtag AKA Pipes. So with that being said, because she's probably not able to do it right now, um, I want you guys to go over there to her TikTok page and go and purchase yourself one of them hot T-shirts she got over there, okay? Because she got some really nice ones. And uh, for Small Business Saturday, I think that, and because she told us about it, because I didn't know about it, so she, she informed me. She didn't keep the information to herself. She shared it with me. So, because she did, and I'm thinking this hat looking pretty good, y'all. Um, I invite you, you all to go over to her channel and visit that. And um, and so now I'm gonna make this a third coat so you guys can see. And I'm doing this because I want y'all to see the difference between coats, okay? Uh, go over there to her TikTok. If somebody can pop it in the chat for us, I would appreciate it. And if you can't, I understand. Now, dark brown, three coats. Dark brown, one coat. Let's get us another coat and catch it up. Okay. Now, what I noticed about this eye is that at the top of it in the emoji reference photo, right here at the top is a little bit darker. Now, we don't have no more dark, right? All we got is this. So we need to enhance this with a little bit more blue. And that'll give us a little bit more darkness on our brown paint. And now we can do our highlights, I mean, our uh, shadowing on the eyes. All right, so we just put a little bit right here on the side because we don't want to add too much now. But we want to add. Okay, so what we're going to do is I can go back in. Oh, look, I still got a lot of paint on this brush. Let's get it off. Let's go and wipe it off with our brush. Oh, ooh, and a lot of red on this side. Let's go and put it in here. Get this blue and slap it in there too. And now this, my friend, is going to give us a super dark brown. Super dark, super dark brown. Da, 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 da. And we can even use it a little bit more up in here just to define this hat a little bit. Let, the, let them indentations show. Okay, woo! All right. Everybody say howdy in the chat. No, say it. Howdy. Okay, so now. We got that going. So now let's get into this super dark. But I want to use a little brush because I can't use this big brush. So I'm just going to get some of this super dark brown. 
that we just made. And I'm just going to go right at the top of the eyes like this. Like, woohoo! Woohoo! All right, so Resilient Dad, make sure you give me your address or uh, email address so I can uh, email you the uh, the paintings of the week. And I'm sure that you'll enjoy doing them anytime you want to go back and watch the replays. And we got them for you. Okay, that's what we do over here. Yeah. All right, so that's good. It's not dead. Well, let's finish. Let's, let's go all the way down. All right, so yeah, so that's pretty good. All right, so now I've noticed that I went a little far with my um with my brown, and th but there's some brown inside the mouth area. So let's get into that. We'll come back and fix all this other stuff later. So right around here, all the way around, like so, you will see brownness. Okay, so let's get into it. And at the top of it is this darker brown. Kind of mad because I. Mixed in so much darker brown, but it's okay. I'm not mad, man. I'm just like mad, angry. Nah, I'm not angry. All right, so you go around like this, and you just take your smallest detail brush, and you get in this area right here. Don't use your bigger brush, family, because if you do, you're going to go all on in your yellow. And yellow is very hard to cover over. I mean, well, it's not hard to cover over. It's hard to cover something else with yellow. That's why you got to take your time. And that's why, family, I said that this painting is not as easy as y'all think. You have to really do a good job with going over your brown and not covering up your yellow. Because when you do, I'm trying to tell you, you're going to be like super, super taking a million coats to cover up that yellow. So just try to stay in the lines. Take your time. Ain't no rushing. We ain't got nothing to do but paint this afternoon. Okay? So, uh, everybody else might be outside playing and shopping, but we inside doing what we love to do, and that is art. Okay? So just smile, breathe, take your time. It's okay. And you're going to go back over it. We're going to go back over it. That's all right. It's fine with us because the more painting, the better. Okay, yeah. So just get in there and try not to get any on the teeth. And I know you're like, why not? Because you don't want anything brown on your teeth, okay? And neither does Tori. So make sure you don't put nothing brown on his teeth. Uh, that's not good, okay? All right. So boom. We got that part going on. And so let's get over here. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to bring this down around in his smile. Just like that. And this is the toy brain game emoji. I mean, it's not like his emoji only. He didn't come up with it. But whenever we go over to his show, to his channel, we always put this in the chat. Okay. As well as fire. And we put the fire in because, you know, he's a Christian man. And he wants to purify you if you come over there acting cry cry. Okay, so if you say something cray cray, he's going to purify you. And so, yeah, that's what it is all about, right? Blue Lotus vibe by Janine McLean. What's up, baby? Tamika Davis, yo, she back. Did you leave me? Or you just not saying something else? But I see the educated naturalist in the house. What up, fam? How you doing? What's going on, honey pie? Oh, we got a spam wrist, y'all. Creating with Tuck in the house. Thank you so much. She's coming and speaking to everybody. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. So, we're getting into our toy brain game. And he got this dribble coming out of his mouth over here. I'm probably going to leave that. All right. So, I, well, I wonder why. I don't know how I ended up with the paint pot on this side and that paint pot on that side. But we don't care. We don't care. Okay. So, we're going to get in here and just going to paint all around it. Now, this part of the mouth around this area right here. It's brown, too, but it's a lighter brown. So y'all remember how we got that lighter brown last time? We went right into our yellow. That's what we did. So we're going to go right into the yellow, mix it with the brown, and it's going to come up with a lighter brown. So we take that lighter brown, which is like almost a dark goldish color, and we're going to come right around right here and take your time. Take your time. Go around the teeth part. And then go around here. Make sure when you lay your brush down flat against your arc and you drag it 
like so, okay? You're going to get a straighter line, a better line, okay? So lay your brush down flat and drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Come on this side, load your brush back up. I'm going to dip mine in a little water just to make it fluid. Load your brush back up with this golden brownish color, okay? And so load it up. Now come on this side, you guys, right here. Push your brush down and drag your brush around. All right, drag it around. Now I got to do it again because I didn't go all the way to the yellow. Push it down and drag it around. Oh, yeah. There it go. All right, so now just fill it all in. So I really don't have a lot of it. I just have a little of it, but you guys probably got more. So I'm going to get down into this paint because I don't want it to dry out. So I'm going to get into it. It's a, like a golden color, so I'm just going to use that. Mix it with some of this brown. Boom, 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 like so. And now I'm going to come around the redness of the mouth. All right. You guys can mix your paint, or you can use the colors that you have uh, in your paint set. If you had something like a... Um, Burnt sienna, that would go great in this area right here. So purification, is necessary. purification is definitely necessary, Terry. You know, I know that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and purify Terry. Thank you for coming in, big brother. I appreciate you. You can add some of that dark brown in here if it's too yellow, like mine is, and go ahead and add it in. And so, we're going around just the tongue inside of Tori Brain's uh emoji mouth, okay. And we're going to bring it over. Welcome in, Tori. I appreciate you coming in. I do. I really do. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you for being a good sport when I told you that uh, the kids wanted to paint your emoji. He was like, sure, that would be fun. So thank you so much for participating. If you guys have not went over to Tori's brain and subscribe to his channel, then I don't know what you are waiting for because you are missing a lot. So go on, on over there and get that neck bone. Wait a minute, sissy. I smell neck bones. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's go. All right, so Tori's got this dribble that's dribbling down. We don't know why. It just happened because, I mean, I mean, I don't know. It just happened. So get some of your lighter brown. I'm digging down here in my light brown, right? And just go ahead and paint your palette out because we didn't do that, you guys. We didn't do it yet. So let's get our palette painted out and just go around it with your small brush. Okay, you don't have to worry about too much. We just kind of, and if you don't want the palette, don't don't paint it. But I we like to put it on there for just kidding because we love to paint and we want Tory Brain emoji to be painting along with us. So we just paint this all right here and we're gonna get into it like so. And you guys, I hope you are smiling as you're painting. I hope you are happy and enjoying yourself and having a good time. And if you're not having a good time, let's ask ourselves why. Okay, why aren't you having a good time painting? Because painting is relaxing and it's fun. And so we want everybody to have fun. So just go ahead and smile and stop trying to act all mean and hard. Okay? Ugh, I'm painting. Ugh. No. You're going to be like this. Yeah, I'm painting, baby. Okay, so you're going to get it. Get around this corner real quick. Just go on and twirl your brush. Lay it down flat and drag it. Like I always said, to get around the corners, push it down, lay it down, and drag it. Okay, let's go. All right, so now we got that going on. So if anybody ever wondered what the very first emoji in the world was, you guys, do you know anybody? Well, I'm going to tell you a story. I know what the answer is. Um, but I'm going to tell you what I thought it was. Because in the 1970s, where I grew up in, I grew, I started growing up. I was, I was a kid. I was a kid. And um, what happened was, oh, yeah, I got to put this around the corner, too. What happened was there would always be these, like, people wear these T-shirts. And this thing was a, uh, it was a thing where it was a smiley face. No hat. Okay, guys. No hat. And then on the lips was just a smile. Just a regular black little smile that goes right there, right? And... And so I want my brush to be red. Well, we're going to put some red paint on the palette. Don't forget to splatter your palette with some red. And 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 I'm and I think I want to I'm going to make my brush orange or red, whatever happens is happens. Whatever's on this brush, that's what's going to be. And so anyway, the smiley face, 
and 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 it was a t-shirt at first and then it became a uh thing where people would put it on stuff like the back of their jeeps on the on the fifth wheel the tire and it would say have a nice day okay so i said that was that was the first emoji i knew it was i was like i know i know it's true but no that's not true well what it is is that um after doing some research there's some research because that's what kind of stuff Tory brain makes you do. You know, it makes you think. And so I started thinking, right? And so I went and I did some uh, uh, research, right? And it came to find out that NTT Docomo, which is a Japanese company, right? They had a they had something called a, a pager. Oh, my God. I know you guys probably like, what the heck is a pager? Auntie Cuddles, Auntie Cuddles and Auntie 755. Well, a pager is a small device that used to be doctors and um, lawyers and stuff like that. But having this like this, it's about that big. And then you can call the number, they go beep, 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 or it vibrate like, mm. and it would tell you that somebody called and you had to call your client back. Well, they had a really successful pager called the Pocket Bell, right? And that displayed the very first emoji. Now, who want to tell me what the very first emoji was? And then we'll uh, let you know if you write it right. Let me know in the chat what the first thing, what you think. Put the emoji. Don't say the word. I, that's no fun. It's emoji day. Put in the uh, chat what you think was the very first emoji that ever was created and put in the chat. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to know. All right. I got some black and I did my breast part. And I got some black and I'm gonna put it up at the top of his ass because I ain't happy about that dark. A pager probably was before his time because Tori's brain is very young. He's almost probably like about 70. Uh, but that's young compared to like, you know, people like, you know, older people. You know what I'm saying? Like he is not in a nursing home yet. But I'm thinking like maybe this might be his last week out. <clears throat> we don't know. Okay. We don't know. We're probably going to have to go ahead and put him in a nursing home. But, you know, it's okay, Tori. I mean. You can still broadcast from the nursing home, I'm sure. They have Wi-Fi, okay? All right, Terry. So anyway, now that we've gotten that out of the way, um, let's talk about the first emoji. If you said in the chat that the very first emoji was a heart, you are absolutely correct. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, it was a heart. And um, and so I really thought it was a smiley face because I remember those in the seventies, those jeeps and stuff, and those t-shirts saying, "Have a nice day," and it would be a smiley face emoji. So I was fooled, you guys. I was really fooled. Um, take your dark paint and go back over your dark area, please, everybody. And if your Tory uh emoji starts dribbling at the mouth, it's okay. That's all right. Let it dribble. All right. And going across here. Yeah, like so. Now you're probably saying, I don't see all of what she's doing. <coughs> Excuse me. And, I, and you probably be right from a distance. But when you close up, I see. Because I didn't think it, it entailed all of this either. Now I start saying, oh, no, this is a lot of shadowing work. This kid's going to get tired of me today, but that's all right. I know y'all not tired. So go ahead and just go ahead back over all of that brown. Make sure you gave it a nice, healthy coat of paint, you guys. Nice, healthy coat of paint and covering in all the stuff that you may have missed. Even up in here, you know what I'm saying? Just go back over it. Make sure everything is like you want it to be. Now, you see this blank spot around here? Nah, that ain't because he got on a bandana, honey. That is not why it's dark, like, I mean, white like that. It is because it is a shadow, a shadow of this, uh, a shadow of his face. 
It's the shadow because there's a hat on this man's head, right? On this emoji head. It's a hat. And the hat is causing a shadow over the front of his face. Okay? So that is why you see that there. If you want to darken up some of this like I am doing, feel free. Because, yeah, you just want to separate this. And you want to make sure that it's an indentation. Now, when it comes back down to this part in the middle, if you want to go back over with a lighter color uh, brown, as I'm going to do is demonstrate here, like so, you can. Okay, so it looks very leathery, and I think Tori likes that. I think he wears a felt hat. I'm not sure, but if and if he doesn't, he probably would like to have a leather, um, a leather cowboy hat for maybe uh, the gift giving season. You know what I mean? And so, yeah. If anybody wants to purchase him one, yeah, feel free. Yeah, he'll like that. All right, so we're just getting into it. Put a lighter color right here. And now I'm through fooling with all of that, sort of, kind of, sort of way. What I want to do at this point is I want to get back into this portion. But it is, um, and I have that brown brush still. Um, so I'm going to use more yellow. And we're going to put it in there. Like so. And let's go ahead and just use that brown brush that we had earlier, the very first one. Remember, we don't drink. If you rinse, that, that's why you messing up because you shouldn't have never rinsed. And so we just want to get into it with this yellow right up under here. And when it starts turning brown, put more yellow on your brush. We just want that hint of brown that's on you. Not all of it, just a hint of it, okay? You just go around right here. And what we're showing is that this cowboy hat is casting a shadow <clears throat> right onto his big old face. Okay. Yeah, Tory Brunt's face. All right. Yeah, his face is yellow, by the way. If y'all didn't know that. Yeah. It's really yellow. But the cowboy hat that he wears casts a shadow onto his face. And it makes you think that his face is um. Like a light brown, but it's not. It's not. His face is really, really brown. I mean, yellow. All right. So, yellow Tory. All right. So, we're going to get into that. And you know, yellow Tory has a pet. I mean, a friend, a really good friend. And his name is Big Rooster. So, you guys watch out for him. Because, uh, yeah, the Big Rooster and Tory, they will often come to your channel and then they'll start. Giving miscommunications, try to get you demongletized. Okay, so we don't have that over here. Thank goodness, they haven't been on my show for a long time. All right, so I'm gonna rinse that brown brush out. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not an invite. Stay out of this channel, get out of here. All right, so I'm just maybe tip a little red up in here, just a tip of it, just a little dry, a little drop of red, just some more, get some more. And put it up in there, and we just we're just gonna go a little crazy with it. A extra, we want extra, okay? Cause Tori is extra, okay? Tori is extra, and and uh, so we have to, you know, we have to show that we can't just act like we don't see it when we when we see it. So add a little red up in there, cause he got a little yellowish red tone about him. All right, drag it on, make sure that had it straight. Get them corners and edges, you guys. All right, so boom, like so. So now, got a little shadow on Tori, the brain. Okay, now, let me get some more yellow, and I'm going to really feel this here. Remember, it was just really giving me troubles earlier, so I'm just going to go back in, and I can blend it up with the little shadowy part I put up top, so it's no biggie. Just go back in with some yellow. Hello, yellow. And then come around, and then, you know, maybe hit them. I got to get on his eyes because he got droopy eyes like he have not been asleep. So I got to get that fixed up. And so, yeah, we're going to go around like so. Now, when you go over and you visit Tory Brain Game, it always smells like neck bones over there. You know what I'm saying? And it's always like a lot of balloons and stuff. And he's really, really a zany character. Okay. So that's all good. We like that. And uh, like I said, we appreciate Tory. Uh, all he does for all the channels that he visit, he always leaves a lasting mark, lasting mark on that channel. So you know, 
Um, appreciate you, bro, and what you do. Um, so we're gonna come back around here. We're just gonna yellow over this darkness that we put in there. And if you didn't put it in there, then you don't have to worry about it. But remember, I was trying to battle with the graphite at this point. So I'm just going back over it and I'm just shading it all back with the yellow. And you can really see underneath what is happening right here. Okay. So, guys, I want you to remember that next week is the week that we go shopping for the kids. We will not be broadcasting a paint uh a painting lesson that week. No lesson, okay? No lesson. We're going to the store. We're going to buy some canvases. A lot of stuff I bought online already, guys, okay? Those boxes are always all packed over there. You just need some canvases that I really like to get these canvases that I use by Master Touch. So um, that's what we'll be next Saturday, and I will take you to the store with. Okay, so everybody who made a donation uh, thus far, I, I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate you the, today. Well, I won't even say today is the last day to make a donation. You can make a donation up until the ninth hour if you want to. That's what you choose to do. That's fine with me. Let's get some white out. Let's get this tea curly white honey because Tori has a beautiful smile, and we want to make sure whoops, that we represent it. So let's get that white out. I don't know why I don't have it out already. I should have it out. I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Man, I appreciate you too, Tori. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <clears throat> y'all make sure. He said a lot of neck bones. Okay. Make sure y'all go over there and subscribe to this man's channel. He is doing it up over there. I really love you, Tori. I don't spend as much time over there as I used to with you. That's because I've been on a diet. When I be smelling them neck bones you be having over there, it makes me want to go in for a second helping. So I have to kind of limit it my time over there with you. No, I'm just kidding. I love that channel, man. You guys, great. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, I think maybe next time we might paint your pet rooster. I mean, not, not your pet. Your friend rooster. Yeah, your pet. I mean, friend rooster. All right, so remember I told you guys that I traced out everything with the graphite pencil. So I'm going to have a little shadow up in here at the gum line. And I think that that would be okay. I don't know. So if you see me wiping my brush off, that's because I am seriously getting graphite into my paint. And it's fine. I mean, it's no biggie. I'm not complaining about it at all. I'm just letting you guys know what's happening. Okay, so you just take your smallest brush, your detail brush, and you wiggle, 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 all around the gum lines and his teeth, right? That's going to give you a little shadow if you got a graphite pencil like myself. And then you take pure white. And you go in here and you paint up the teeth area, okay? Just paint it up. And, ah, dang it, I got a little bit more graphite on my pencil. I mean, on um, my paint. Dang it. You rinse. It's okay, guys. So you live and you learn. Art is no, it's not, it's no mistakes, as Bob Ross would say. It's only happy accidents. So to me, having this graphite on here, at this particular moment, it's a happy accident because it's giving his teeth shadow. And nobody's teeth is pure white, but I guess an emoji is an exception. So, but mine's is going to have a shadow to it. And I think that's going to be awesome. Yeah. All right. Shout out to Bob Ross, honey. Okay. So let's go. Now, when it comes down to the bottom of the teeth, just get your paint loaded up on your brush. Lay it down flat like I always tell you. And drag, 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 drag it all the way out until all the paint is gone. Then you can flip it over to the other side, press it down, and drag it in the reverse, going back the other way, like so. And then always smooth it out so you don't have, like, lines and stuff, okay? And just go on around every section of the lips until you're satisfied. If you went back into the brown too much, all you got to do is take your brush, wet it, come back in. And drag it again around the top of the lip area right here. And get rid of any white marks that you might have gotten onto your lip area. Right? Just like that. Just clean it up. Just clean it up. Okay? And 
So I have to go back into the tea. And boom, we ready on that. So now, I see, I'm always going to keep painting these eyes because I got a little bit of yellow up in there. So I want them to be right. So I'm going to always keep coming back to these eyes and painting on them. So till I get it the way I want it, okay? And that's going to be the end of that. All right, so now, I think that we need some white on our palette. I'm wearing, I rinse my brush off to get some pure white, and I'm just going to dab it right onto our palette. And also, we need some dark brown. I'm going to rinse my brush again, grab some of this dark brown that we created early, and I'm going to put some of that on our palette because it deserves to be on there. Okay, so and what else? Oh, yeah, some yellow. I don't have any more because I use my mask, so I'm just going to dig back into my tube, and I'm just going to get a little clump out like that. And I'm going to add it right onto our palette right there because that's what it is. So, so far, we use a light brown or dark brown. So, let's get that light brown, too. Yeah, we can't forget about that. So, we're going to get a little bit of that light brown. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. We're going to get it. We got it. Did you get it? We got it. Good. Put some over here. I don't care where you put it at. Just put some on the palette so that we know it's, gone, it's down in there. Right. And if you want to brighten up your red, you can. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave mine just like it is. So he's got this drip running off his mouth, and that's all right. We didn't do a background yet, and usually I tell y'all, do your bright background first, do your background first, do your background first, do your background first. What did I be saying, Achikado? Do your background first. first. That's right. But this time I did, because I want you to paint your cowboy emoji, any color background that you want to paint it. As usual, go ahead and fill it in. Start putting it together. PIA in the building. It's all it's all love A R D and C U T. Okay, look at her. Yes, it has been so far. I'm uh, glad your holidays. Okay, that's what's up. Everybody checking on each other, making sure the holiday was good. Uh, we see your dad is still hanging out with us in here doing a thing. I ain't mad at you. You said the pet rooster. <laughs> Hell yes, facts. I mean, I mean, I mean, no, I meant um your your friend rooster. That's what I was trying to say. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, snap. Okay. Anyway, Tori. Tori likes the flames. He likes to have a fire going, okay? He do. I know he do. I've seen it, all right? So he has a fire going so he can purify y'all, all right? So I'm going to try to create a fire. Don't know how this going to turn out, y'all. Let's just hold our breath. No, nah, no, nah, y'all keep breathing. I'm going to hold my breath, and I'm going to come around this thing, and I'm going to paint my toy brain, cowboy emoji, with the art palette for the just kidding side, and we're gonna put a flame on it. But I'm gonna try to leave that little. I'm, it, it was an accident, but it, it turned out pretty cool. It got a little drip hanging off his mouth. We're gonna leave that, all right? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into some black. I got some black, and so I'm gonna go up here. And I'm gonna play super, super dark. I want all of this to be super, super dark, right? Just paint this black, right? And I'm just gonna be happy with it. I'm not gonna be tripping or nothing. I'm having a good time. And I just want to welcome in all the new subscribers over at the Just Kidding side. Please, people, if y'all have not went over there, I linked it at the top. There's a link up there. I pinned it, right? So just go over to the Just Kidding, please, and show the kids some love, okay? Please, for the Small Business Saturday, go over there and show some love to the Just Kidding and order yourself a box. Order a box for the kids. Look, all proceeds go to them. You know what I'm saying? When I when y'all be ordering the boxes, them, that money don't go into my pocket. I don't go to Chick-fil-A. You know what I'm saying? I go to the art supply store. Buy some more. All right. Yeah, that's what happens. All right. So listen. I'm going around. I'm taking my brush. I'm laying it down. I got it flat. I'm dragging it across. This is what you should be doing if you put the background on. Drag it all the way across. Pick it up. Get in that corner good. Come back around the side of this hat. Round that corner, round it off, round it up. We good cowboy Tory with the hat on. We coming around the corner. Come on around the corner. Just drag that brush. Keep it dragging, 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 dragging. Stop. Okay. Stop. Got to his face. Go up under the cowboy hat with the same brush. Get in that corner real good. Drag it around, round, round, round. Drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it like you're eating some neck bones. Drag it. All right. Boom. Now fill this all in. Just like that. Fill it in. Fill it in and stop acting out. Everybody, oh, I didn't do this part. Get that corner down right there in the corner that cowboy had right there in the corner, like so, and pull it, pull it, drag it around, drag it around the hat. 
dragging around in a cowboy hat, dragging around one time. Yo, did you know how to how to go? We dragging around in his cowboy hat. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Stop right there. All right, fill it all in. What all you missed? Go back and fill it all in. Fill it all in. Sissy, how you like my dragging around a cowboy, cowboy hat song? You want me to keep going with it? All right, pick that brush up one time. Grab your partner and dosy do Put some paint on your canvas. Then we're going to do the Corktori show. Woo hoo, purify you. Woo hoo, 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 purify you. All right, no, no, enough of that. Anyway, let's get up in here and we're going to. Dosy do Yeah, why don't we have to learn? Bring that? your partner and dosy do I, I couldn't stand uh, Square Dance Day. I was good at it. Boo. You was I good at it. I, was, oh, why did we have to learn I don't know why we had to learn it. That was just weird, weird, weird. Now, that should they should have been to got schools. Right. Okay, they're leader art. Take that do si do and round and round we go. <laughs> All right. And if you got some edges, y'all want to make sure y'all go ahead and get them because that makes your art complete. My art going to be complete, honey, because I'm going to take, take my edges out. Yeah. All of us little edges. All right, so let's get into it. And you know, I'm gonna get on side too. Boom, 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 boom. Drag it on down. And the reason why I stop you guys, because I wanna, like I said, I wanna make a fire. If fire, I mean, I could put fire with half straight black, but it won't be natural fire. Fire is gonna have some brown in it. So let's get into this brown. All this brown we made over here, we're gonna all of it. Put it on there. Yeah, start putting it on your palette, honey. And let's get into it. Yeah. Uh oh, I made a little mess on his face, but it's all right. It's probably neck bone sauce. All right, so we're gonna put some over here, and we want it to be even, so we're gonna put some over here, and it's just a little, you know, whatever. And like I said, if you get anything on his face, just call it neck bone sauce. When anybody even that's what this is. Hey, yeah, that's what this is. It's a neck bone sauce. All right, so just make sure you get your sides too, because the neck bone sauce we want it all to be the same color. Blend it into your black. So it looked great. So bring it in. All right. So we'll bring it on down. Bring it on down. Just like that. You can take this neck bone sauce and put it all up in here too. Like just a little streaks here and there. Because you know, you want it to, you want it to be cohesive, you know. All right, so boom. We move it on around. Everybody get ready. Get ready, get ready. All right. It's time to put a little water on my breast because it's a little dry. Get in here. Get all of this, even the red. Grab everything you can. Don't leave nothing behind. Get all the neck bone sauce you can get and put it all around here like so. All right, just go on and drag it and throw it on there. Now, if you're doing your own paint color, you ain't doing neck bone sauce color. You can do whatever you want. I don't care what you do. But as long as you got this looking good and this background going on like so, we don't care. Everybody say we don't care. Add a little white to it. Boom. We wanted to gray up somewhat. You know what I mean? We just wanted to. Now, take your time. Whenever you're going around, the emoji, Tori, brain emoji face. Because you don't want to get it on the yellow. It's going to be hard to come off. And even though it's dry, we can probably wipe it off with a little wet towel. We don't want to do it. <laughs> okay, so let's try not to get it all messed up. So just drag it around. If your brush gets too dry, go ahead and grab yourself some um water on your brush and add it to it and then just fade it on in i'm just fading this on up like so because i mean i just want a little while back right this is what i'm doing you know what i'm saying i'm gonna keep my breast wet dip it in the water tap it off my breast is wet get back in here get all this cooking mud and all this because the it's from the mud baby even from the mud okay i'm gonna get all that i'm gonna put it in here now you might want to take your painting and turn it to the side just so you can get all down in here real good, like so, like so, like that, that there. You know what I'm saying? Like Cowboy Muse say, I reckon, I reckon you want to get up in here like this here and twirl it around that paint palette, honey. Try not to get it all messed up and just come on around, paint all this all the way down to the little slurpy slobbery stuff. Remember this little slobbery? So you get all the way down. Take... We get to the slob, take it and drag it on down the slob. You might as well get that right. And then come on around this corner part like this. Yep, and then fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. Just don't, I don't care how you do it, just fill it in. It don't matter because we're going to add some fire to this, so it don't matter. Just go ahead, fill this little slobby part where you've been slobbering at. Get all that filled all around there, okay? 
get you some more paint if you need to and put it on there. Just don't don't paint over the slobbery part. Like, I mean, if you have one, I mean, I have a slobbery part for him. All right, so we just gonna get in there, stand your brush up, and go around his face. Okay, go on around his face like that. Go on around till you get the slobbery part. Everybody, everybody say slobbery part in the chat. Okay. All right, so we're going to get in here like this. Yeah, so is. We, he thought we was going to erase that slob. Nope, we leaving it. Little drip, drip. We're going to call him little drip, drip. Hey, little drip, drip. How you doing, Tori? Little drip, drip. All right, so boom, we got that going. Now I need a smaller brush because I can't get in there with that. So I would say I'm done with this brush for the moment. So I'm going to leave it to the side, but I ain't going to rinse, right? Heck no. Nah. Yeehaw, I'm not going to rinse. Everybody say, I ain't going to rinse. So let's get in here. We're going to try to scrape off some more of this. I don't want to leave nothing. I'm going to use all this paint, okay? So we're going to get all up in here behind this palette like so. And it's a different tone. So we're going to be able to see our palette still. So don't worry about that, you guys. Don't worry about that at all. All right, don't forget to paint right here in the middle where the brush meets the palette and the background. Now I'm running out now. I'm trying to I'm trying to scrape what I can and uh, use what I can because I I I'll never be able to paint make this color again because this is the original color that we created today just for the Tory brain emoji. Okay, cowboy Tory, cowboy Tory, honey. Okay, so let's go. All right, so we're mixing this up and going on around, and it's a little off. But don't worry about don't worry about. Because I am going to have a fire behind it, okay? So I don't, I'm not worried. Now, if you're not going to paint a fire behind it, you might want to add a little black in it. Put a, just a little black on your brush and go on up in there like so. And just kind of, you know, create around your brush, right? Just kind of create around your brush. And you might want to you might want to get some of this white and turn the um, brush like that, a uh, grayish color. And maybe add some more gray to it, some brown, and lighten that brush up just a little bit, making sure you add a little highlight on it with the white so that we know that that's a paintbrush. You feel me? All right, so mm -hmm, let's go. All right, so I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little western like right now. I don't know why. And you know, I don't know why Tori thinks that he's a cowboy, he's always going to wear a cowboy hat. But I don't even think he ever even touched a cow before. I really don't. I don't think he has. And it's nothing too much you're going to be able to convince me that Tori has touched a cow. Okay? And I don't believe it. I just believe that he calls himself a cowboy. Uh, but cowboy Tori. But he don't know nothing about a cow. I don't even. Huh? Yeah, we need a proof of cow. We have never seen a cow before. Stephanie Callaway in the building. Thank you so much for coming in. She said, how, how are everyone? We are doing just fine. We've never seen you before, Stephanie, but we want to say thank you and welcome to the Just Getting Show. Yes, and so welcome in. Young Riaz, what's going on? That's the Drip King. What's happening, Drip King? In the building. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here, baby. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We are painting a cowboy emoji for Tory Brain Game, my good friend. Cowboy Tory. So you guys, if you haven't already, drop some cowboy emoji in the chat and love for Tory Brain. If you haven't went over to his channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go on all over there so y'all can smell the neck bones cooking, baby. All right, so let's go. Yeah, and look. <clears throat> While you at it, Stephanie, Young Riaz, and everybody who just came in, check out the top of this chat right at the top. I pinned it. It's for Just Kidding. That's the kids show. This on you guys are on 755 side, this is the adult side, but it's actually a just kidding. See this logo right here? You'll see just kidding. Go in there, hit the kids a thumbs up because the kids are painting with us today over there. And, and the kids love the thumbs up, honey. So y'all make sure y'all go over there and check them out. It's 18 people in the building. Come on now. Come on now. What did he say? What did he say? I said it and I ain't taking it back. Go over there and sub the kids up. All right, let's go. Let's go, fam. Yeah. You want to see some fire there? Okay. Miss Wood would love to see the fire come in. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do? See, I lighten it up down here. I know you, that look a little strange. Something, five, five. It's okay. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some more red out. Well, actually, let's do so with Nacrodone. It's like a burgundy color. So let's play in a fight. Well, I mean, play with these colors to try to make a fight. All right. All right. So what I want to do, because I never really did it before, but I do like, like, this is my logo with the Litley family. It's got like a flame. Well, I tell y'all, the flame is in your spirit, in your heart, the body. Your creators put it there for you. Don't let the flame go out. Stay lit lit. So we are going to try to give a little lit lit to Tori, right? Because he needs to be lit lit. Honey, he needs to be lit lit. All right, so we're going to get some of this quinacridone, and then we're going to come up behind Tori. Uh-oh, might have been a little aggressive there, Tori. And so we're going to come up behind Tori with a little little flame um, colorish like this. Now, you don't have to do this. You can paint your back of your Tori brain emoji, cowboy toy. You can paint cowboy toy any color you want to paint them. It don't mean it don't matter to be anything. You can just paint it white, or you can paint it pink and purple. You can paint whatever. I'm going to put a flame. Is that what I want to do? I'm an artist, and I am going to do what I want. Now, if it doesn't turn, uh oh, I've got a little bit on his face. That's all right. His face been burnt up before with a little hot sauce. So we just gonna call it hot sauce. We're gonna put it around here, a little hot sauce. I'm just dragging around. But what we don't want to do is cover up this little neck bone drip right here. Yeah, we're going to leave that for three. Okay, so so look, I'm just grabbing this, and I'm fanning it out because I wet my breast. So I got this color, and I just want to go behind it and just lightly move that burgundy around and just kind of fill it in a little bit. But I want that brown to show up through it. Now, this is called glazing, you guys. And and, and when you take the a, a breast that's wet, more so than paint, and, and the paint is very fluid, and you take the wetness and you drag it across, but you can still see the uh brownness in the background. See, that's called glazing. Okay, so you want to glaze this out, drag that wetness all the way on out as far as you want to do it. You can come over here on this side. You can scrub a glaze in, but make sure you don't go too far because you want that brown to show through. Now, let me get all around this palette right here. All right, let's get all around that. And I might have to do my brush again. Yeah, let me do my brush over again. All right, so we're just going to just put this little red out here. And now I want to go all the way to the corner. And this is just something I'm designing and coming up with in my mind for Tori, uh, Cowboy Tori, okay? So, yeah, it's no biggie. Drag it around your face. We're just putting it in, and I'll, I'll repaint my palette, okay? Don't worry about that. So we just get some that red. We just want some red to show up all up in here, okay? Because we want the flame, the purification, okay? That's what we're looking for, the purification, okay? Y'all feel what I'm saying here? Who feel me in the chat? Put some flames in the chat if you want to be purified. All right, so let's go. All right, so we're just going to go around the hat a little bit with it. Cause, you know, we don't want it to look funny. All right, so we got that. And so now we can go into some more darker, and we can make some flames, you know, little squigglies, like so. And just keep in mind, the structure of a flame is really wiggly and wobbly. And so, yeah, we want to get all of that in there. And now we can take a little white and add it in there. It's a highlight, just here and there. And we probably do some yellow, too. I'm going to put some more on my on my palette. So we just want to get a little flame and then a little flicker of a small flame going up over there. And maybe one over here. Maybe some um some embers, you know, little umbers and just fly around. Something like that. Right. So we're gonna come over in this side. I'm gonna grab a little bit of light. Right. We're gonna just do some little flame like that. And just maybe just make a bow out like that. And then we get some of this back into this quinacridone and we just gonna kind of add that in there and you could just kind of you know just wiggle it around a little bit around the breath let it fade off okay let it fade off just a little flame maybe put one over here just a little bit right there just a little wigglies right this wigglies y'all see the flames right all right so now we're gonna get it just red 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 let's get back to that remember earlier it spilled everywhere so we we're gonna just be real careful we'll come in here oh and we got to like that. We'll scrape some back off in there. Now we're going to get in. Now I ain't rinse. I didn't rinse. Don't rinse. And then you're going to come back. You're just going to tap and just lightly just kind of go all around this flamey. Wiggle your brush. Wiggle it, wiggle it. 
up here with numbers in the air, put a little something, something in the air like that. Wiggle around, wiggle around, wiggle it, and then come on down here. Don't forget we had one down there. And just maybe you might want to add a little bit of nuts, something else like somewhere. And also I see that I'm not really happy with his mouth area. Let's go and fill that in again with the red. And and then I might want to add a little quinacridone up in here too, just to give his tongue a little, eh, you know, shadowing. Okay. So we're just going to put a little shadow on his tongue too. All right, so I do see it there. I really do see it down there. All right, so boom, put that, put that up. Now, what about some, what about, what about, what about some orange? All right, come on. Well, we can make our own orange. We're gonna make our own. We got some yellow. This is everybody who don't have orange in a set. It's fine. Make your own. Red and yellow is orange. So we put some yellow now. Boom, that's a lot of yellow, Carmen. I took seventy-five five is off the chain. She's going crazy. Yeah, I'm going crazy. You're going to have to purify me. Okay, purify me, dear. And then you want to add a little orange up in there. Bring that orange on down. I'm just going to add a little fire. Now, y'all, sorry. Oh, that look like kitty fire. Well, it's a kid's show. Okay, so we're just going to add a little bit of fire in there like so. Just a little something. And this is something kids can do. I'm not trying to do a portrait of Tori, Tori okay? I'm not trying to do that. We're not. That's not where we're at. We're doing something called abstract art right now. And that's where you just kind of putting stuff on and taking a little bit of white. And when you do that, honey, you're going to be okay. All right? Yeah, where is uh, Auntie 755 up in this building? We're going to put this flame way up there. Let's go. I'm going to take it all the way to the top. All right? So we're just going to build this fire all the way up. And, you know, you can add a little bit more red to it. Get that, you know, color in there. Like so and just boom, all around his hat. It's flame on, okay? So it's Tori. And boom, boom, boom. We just come on around here and don't get none on the drip. Just add some fire to him. Okay. So he on fire, right? You might want to add more yellow if you want to. If you want to add more pink in there, you just add all the colors that you want and swish your brush around side to side. And while you're doing it, do your body like this. Let's do this. Just do this. And swiggle. Swiggle and wiggle and wiggle and swiggle. And add that fire all up in there. All right. Swiggle around. Add some more yellow. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. Yeah, bring it on out of there. Bring it on around. It's fire. Yeah, I'm so. Flames. Keep it lit, lit. Okay. And so, this is not nothing that um, I just want to say. Kids never play with fire. Always just keep the lit, lit inside of you. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we just going to swiggle. And anytime you see something you want to swiggle, swiggle it. Let me see what my time at on this, on this paint. Woohoo, we're doing real good. Yee haw! Yeah, yee haw! I actually got the fire going on behind Tori. Let me get my palette back together because I did uh, stop doing something. I mean, I did mess my palette up trying to do all these uh, purifications. You know what I mean? So, so we all found out today, well, some of us knew, uh, that the very first emoji was a heart. Okay, so that that was cool. That was cool. Um, but I do want to tell you honestly, the very well, the very first emoji digitally, digitally is a heart. But the very first emoji, the oldest emoji in the world, was discovered on a 3700 year old pottery. It was a pottery pot. Okay, and at the bottom of it, guess what was on it? A smiley face. Like I told y'all, the first emoji was the. Then I tell you that, sissy. Uh -huh. Now, how I knew that, I don't know. I was thinking like in the 70s from the Jeeps and stuff. <clears throat> but no, it's actually was discovered on a piece of pottery that's been. um. They, they said it's over 3,700 year old pottery was a smiley face. So, um, you guys, uh, nothing on the world is new. Nothing on the world is new. Okay, nothing. All right, so we're going to come back over here and I'm going to just kind of fix my, um, and I'm going to use a little white in here because I got these colors just going crazy. So, I'm just going to use a little white in here. 
to accent accent this hole right here around the around the palette. Okay. Oh yeah, and I had some dark brown. I got it on there. But we also use black since then. So I'm gonna have to get a little bit of this black. And I want to put some black on here as well. So we just put what we used. We use these colors, so we want to put them up there. Quinacridone, I use that color. And so I want to put the little quinacridone on here. So I'll put that up there. And then I had the, the stem of the brush. It's still here, but it's actually um, it's actually covered up with the fire. So we're just going to come back in here. And I'm going to try to fake my way through it. Okay. Fake my way through this brush right here. Put a little white on it. Fake my way through it like so. All right. So you're going to be able to tell it's a brush, I guess. You know, I don't know. I'm taking my brush and I'm wetting it. And I'm squiggling back and forth. And I'm making this handle of the brush really thin. Because I made it thick. So now I want to make it a little thin. And that's how you do it. You erase things. That's why I said this is an abstract drawing. You erase things with your brush, okay? So now let's see what I can get into over here. A little quinacridone, the sun, sun. I'll just put that back in there like that. And that's going to be it for me, you guys. So I think I want to sign this thing. Um, uh, We all have to figure out what this is dribbling out of his mouth. I don't know. But I'm taking some quinacridone, and I'm taking some white, and I'm taking some yellow, and I'm making this really cool color out of it. And it doesn't have a name, so we're going to call it the purification color. Okay, so I'm making it. I'm going to come in and sign my art right here. I'm going to sign it over here because we already got a palette, so I'm just going to put in Auntie 755, as always. And I hope that everybody enjoyed this art session. Um, don't forget, adults, tune in tonight. Um, we're doing prints, okay? We'll be doing that tonight. We'll have a good time. So if you have not received your box, oops, I dropped my brush. Oh, no. If you guys have not received your, I got to rinse because it might be like some dust particles or anything on the floor and i don't want that to be on the art but if you have not received your uh, box it is important that you tell me you have not received it uh you can call me or you can email me however you contacted me to get the box and if you have not gotten the box we're gonna postpone on paint night to tomorrow because i want everybody in it look this only if you plan on coming up if you don't plan on coming up, don't even contact me. But I ain't get my box yet, cause you you ain't you ain't finna paint with us no more. But if you are gonna come up and paint alongside of me and the others, I need to know if you didn't get your box yet, cause today is a deadline for that. Okay, and we will move the date. I don't want to, but it wouldn't you know necessarily be my fault, cause everybody should have got a box by now. Okay, so just check and praying that everybody gets it. So boom, I just I just went ahead and signed my art. As you can see, it said Auntie 755. And this is the close-up to the top. Y'all see that drip? <laughs> what is it in his mouth? Okay, what is this drool on his face? Yeah. So look, y'all, we have fun. We have fun doing it. And I, so I want you guys to uh I need you to show me your art. It's time to show me your art. Everybody, let's go. Show me your art. 755 Media is out here with a custom portrait. If you would like a custom portrait, email us today at 755mediaart at gmail.com. Look at these people. Do you know these people? If not, you need to check us out on YouTube at 755 Media. And if you or your children would like to learn how to paint, check us out on YouTube at Just Kitty every Saturday at noon.
can't believe, Troy. Cowboy Troy. Show me your art. And I'll show you mine. Screenshot. Yeah. Perfect. Another one. Let, I got ice, y'all. Ice from my mom. Lesson number 76. Cowboy toy emoji. I can't get no better than this. Toy, do you feel purified? I know you. I hope so. Let, let us know in the chat when your next show is, sir, so we can get by there and check you out. Okay, as always, 16 people in the building. I hope all of y'all went over there and showed the kids some love with a thumbs up on the Just Kidding. All you got to do is kick that link up above and then come on back and enjoy yourself. Make sure you hit that thumbs up while you're over there. Um, I had so much fun painting Tori today, you guys. Um, So next Saturday, there will not be no... um. Painting. We're going to the store. Auntie Cuddles and I I'm gonna spend some money. Yeah, all the money you guys sent and donated. Thank you so much. It, uh, and then I'm gonna do um since you're hoping that maybe before Saturday I could do uh, like a montage of everybody who gave like their their, their channels and just oh my god, I can't think y'all enough. Y'all been so great. We've been taking donations since like mid October. All through November, you guys, and we got live boxes. So when I we take y'all shopping, and then we're gonna come back home and show y'all some boxes. What's in the boxes? Maybe we'll take a box with us since we can show them in the sunshine. We can be outside and show y'all everything we do. Yeah, and it's gonna be cool, you guys. So make sure y'all tune in next Saturday, 12 high noon. We will be in the world, honey. We're going outside, okay. And and, and so listen, I just want to say thank you so much for all the kids. Everybody who's requested a um, reference photo, a toy, cowboy toy, and a drawing, you know, you guys just check your email. You got it there. And if you want to go ahead and check it out and do it a replay, that's cool. But what I'm asking you to do, when you finish, send me the art. It's no problem. Just take a picture, send it through the email, and then I'll post it up on my community page so everybody can see. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. So um, I want to say thank you, everybody. Make sure y'all clean up y'all area. Make sure all your paints, every one of them, <clears throat> has a top on it, honey. Make sure these tops is on tight. See? All my tops are on. I can keep going and going. The tops are on, okay? Make sure your brushes get rinsed out thoroughly. All you have to do, you have them sitting in the water now, rinse them out like this very thoroughly. Each one. Take them to the sink. Pour that water out, okay? Put you some fresh water in there. Not a lot. Just a little. You don't need that much, you guys. Just a little bit. And then go ahead and stir them all up again. And then sometimes you can even take a little bit of soap. Like if you have a dish soap, that would be cool. Put a little dish soap in a little tiny bit of your hand, just a little bit. Take your brushes and squish them around like this. In the center of your brush, in a circle, in motion, and counterclockwise and clockwise. Scrub it, scrub it, scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. And you'll notice, be like, wow, a lot of paint came out. Then rinse. When you store your brushes, do not store them in a cup like this. This is something that Vivian gave Yeah, Vivian gave me this. And you keep your brushes in here, and it's super cool. But don't store your brushes like this when they're wet. That means all the water is dripping down into the ferrule of your brush down here. And you don't want that because it makes your bristles weak and they come out. And how you're going to be able to tell is when you're painting and a bristle going to be on your paint, on your canvas. You're going to be like, oh, I got to get that off. And you're going to reach, get off. You're going to mess up all the paint you just put up there. You're going to have to let it dry a little bit. Take maybe some tweezers or something, or maybe your thumbnail, your nail, and then lift that hair off there, out of your brush. It's a pain, so don't do it. Make sure you, you don't store your brush like this. You can lay your brush on the side, on paper towel, or you, if you have a way to hang your brush like, like this, that way all the water comes out of the ferrule, off your bristles, and onto paper towel or whatever. That's the proper way to store your brush. So it lasts a long time. And we want them to last a long time. If you want to keep ass getting brushes all the time because you're tearing them up, you can't get all the new colors of paint. Make it make sense. Do what you got to do, paint slingers. I enjoyed you today. Um, I also want to say, oh, yeah, let's do some stretches because your auntie 755 getting a little cheeky like, Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's put some music on to do it. Sissy, you know one of the... Little something, something, no, right, sissy? All right, let's do this one. I don't know what it is, but all right, let's go.
Yeah, everybody plays this one. Let's go. Turn yourself into an airplane, guys. Yeah. Just glide around. I'm more like a drone. Sissy mentioned a drone today. Let's be a drone. Yeah. Let's fly around. We flying over the parks. Yeah. Yeah, we see all the people down there. All the kids outside playing when we was just kidding. Yeah. All right. So let's drive around, fly around in the sky. That's a drone. And stretch your arms out as far as you can stress them out. Just to release some tension out of here and maybe shoulders area. Because we've been sitting and painting for over an hour. So you have to move around. Okay. So yeah, after you finish doing that, just turn yourself into a bird. And so we just go bird and we wiggle our arms up and down like this. And if it hurts you guys, don't do it, okay? Only do it if it's fun for you. And you should be smiling right now. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. And then make this kind of, you know, you probably feel it now. Like, wow, that's making my arms feel heavy. And it might have. It might do. But it's okay. That's all part of stretching. And you just make more clap your hands. Give it up for all the fellow pain slingers. All the just hit. Just give it up. Clap your hands way out there, though. Take them all the way out. And stretch them high in the air. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah. That's it, you guys. And move your head around. Twisting. Rotate your shoulders. Get up and walk around. Don't take your art and run all over the house. Come on. Look, I painted cowboy toy emoji. No, that ain't how you do it. Let's keep it professional. Leave your art on the easel. And invite everyone to come and view your piece. Get yourself a juice box at the cooler. Perhaps a little water. Whatever you prefer. Some Kool-Aid of juice. And then ask everybody to come in and take a uh, take a peek of your painting. And then this give you some, maybe some uh, destructive criticism. What did I say? Destructive criticism. <laughs> maybe. Or no criticism at all. Because you're a paint slinger. You did a great job today. Yeah, that's right. Love you guys. Love all of you. I hope to see you again soon. Super real soon. Hey, um, don't forget to order yourself some accessory. Move for all colors going on. And it smells like strawberries. Small business Saturday. Y'all yeah, see these lips? Mmm, it smells delicious. Accessory. We apply. Not because you need to, but because you want to. And she also had a man bomb. So we'll get into all that a little bit later. But I just want to put it on your mind. In case you need to occupy your time before you see me at 755. Okay, Disney, okay. Bars. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cowboy Tory. Cowboy Tory for president. Yeah, let's go. And I'll see y'all on the next show. I'm just kidding. We'll be going shop. Make sure y'all tune in. Peace and love, happiness. What'd you say? Oh, no. P.I. has been a member for 11 months. You deserve art. Yes, you do. Facts. So, we see, she said, congratulations, Tracy. Yeah, I see y'all up in here. Okay, Lena, door cracking is in the house. And I'll see y'all later. Uh, before I go, I want y'all to know something. Kids deserve art. That's right. I'm out to 75. Five. And this has been a Cowboy Toy Production. Lesson number 76. See y'all next week. Peace. It's hot noon. Hot noon. Hot noon. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm T75, five, five is uh -huh. here. The wait is wait, over. Wait, Let's go. Just wait. kidding. Are you ready? Wait. I'm ready. The Just Let's Kidding go. Kids are the best kids, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Are you ready?
paint slacks, we slay the paint, create our masterpiece. We're cracking jokes, we're stretching out. We do this every week. We paint real things and sometimes cartoons. Drop down our tarps and meet at high noon. Other kids are outside, but we're in our zone. We just wanna paint with Auntie 755 show. Just